Hello there everybody, Sam Strains here and welcome back to the railway and welcome back to something completely different. As you can see here I've got a diesel which is quite unusual for me because it's normally steam that I look at. Uh, but I do like to look at the old diesel just because I know there's a lot of diesel fans out there and I like to try and cater for everybody. Uh, secondly, this is an unusual review because as you can see by the box here, uh, this is a V-Trains model and uh, this is the only model by V-Trains that I've got and it is a wonderful thing. Uh, you can probably just about tell by the diagram on the box here that this one is the V-Trains Class 37. It's a, a really gorgeous thing and I can't wait to show it to you. And uh, on the end of the box, if you have a quick look, you can see V2038 Class 37201, that's the running number, triple grey, which is what this one is. So, uh, yeah, there's nothing else on the box really, so I'm going to get this up and uh, show you what's inside. And uh, first of all, the packaging is fantastic. You've got this rock hard packaging, which is completely unlike really uh, anything that Hornby or Backman do. And uh, let's have a quick look at some of the paperwork. Uh, first of all, you've got this one, which is just a bit of uh, a warning really not to throw it in the bin uh, because it's, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, hazardous waste apparently or something crazy like that but uh, also we've got this beautifully printed um, instruction sheet which shows you how to fit the detail which is actually quite a nice thing uh, for them to include because a lot of them uh, leave you to guess but no V trains don't and there's also a little bit on how to fit the chip uh, or how to bridge the chip out to run on DC. Uh, there's also um, a little parts list which is very useful so that if you do lose something or you need to you know, replace something you can do that quite easily. So that's all very nice but of course let's get on to the loco because that's the interesting part and if I just take up this piece of foam <laughs> if I can get hold of the damn thing. There we go. Uh, you can see there it is. What a wonderful loco. Now this hasn't got any of the detail applied to it uh, but just look here at how much there is. There's all sorts. Uh, there's three pieces there. All of this is still in its packaging. Well most of it is. Some of it's fallen out look. Um, but uh, really it's amazing how much detail there is here. There's even uh, metal handrails as you can see. It's super impressive, you know. <laughs> Uh, now I won't fit any of this because I like to keep things in original condition and I'm also a little too clumsy to be fitting things but considering that none of it's been fitted uh, just look at the detail of this thing it really is a marvellous thing and it weighs a ton as well this is one of my most powerful locomotives uh, bar all the Ren stuff of course um, it really weighs a ton and it's got uh, four driving four driven axles sorry uh, one, two, three and four so that's really impressive and uh, yeah, the detail and you know the quality of this thing is really incredible and it's a fantastic model. So I'm going to get this reviewed for you a little bit closer up in a moment. But first of all, here's a little bit of history and information about the Class 37. So also known as the English Electric Type 3, the British Rail Class 37 was introduced in 1960 and over 300 examples were produced between then and 1965. The class wasn't actually trialled in any way, quite interestingly. Instead, British Rail just ordered 42 of them straight out of the box in 1959, and uh, many of them continued to work into the 1990s, actually, uh, which was long after most other Type 2 and Type 3 locomotives had been withdrawn. Uh, the class were overhauled, though, and uh, some of them were even rebuilt during that time, just to make sure that they actually still worked, uh, you know, into that period. The 37s operated a mixture of passenger and freight duties and quite interestingly some were fitted with boilers um, for steam heating which is of course a, a feature carried on from the steam era uh, to heat the passenger carriages of course. And the locomotives are still very popular ones today and countless examples still exist and can be seen on various heritage railways and among the remaining is D6700 which is the last class 37 ever to be built. So this one's in Rail Freight Triple Grey, as we read on the side of the box, and uh, presumably that's just because it's got uh, three different shades of grey, uh, one, two, and three on the top there. Um, but yeah, a very nicely painted thing, it really is. I mean, it's not just the Triple Grey, is it? You've got the uh, separately painted grills, and they're all over it, aren't they? They really are. Uh, you've got warning signs, as you can see, uh, which I'm fairly certain are legible, um, but, you know, I just can't see them with my naked eye. Uh, of course, the running number's on there with the little British Rails logo, and you've also got this crest on there, and no idea what that's for, but that must have been something to do with the service that this particular engine uh, would have taken. And uh, you've also got the uh, separately painted door with door handles, as you can see there, little silver door handles. They really do look very realistic, uh, brilliant looking things. Uh, I'm just trying to look and see if there's any cab detail. Um, it seems there's a little bit, but it's it doesn't seem to be painted, but that's not uh, a huge issue because you really can't see into there all that well. 
Uh, let's have a quick look around the front then. Of course you've got this lovely uh, yellow painted front uh, where the headlights and brake lights are, uh, whichever direction it's in of course. And uh, of course there's more warning lights there too, which is very interesting. And uh, you've got a NEM coupling here at the front as you can see, uh, which is uh, articulated if you like. It does swing left and right, so it does, uh, you know, uh, take the curves quite nicely. And also you've got sprung buffers as well, uh, which is quite a nice touch. So let's take a look on the roof then, as you can see there's a fan, um, it's not terribly realistic looking but uh, I suppose it is separately fitted which is quite nice and sadly it doesn't go round either which is a little bit of a shame but uh, you know it's uh, not the newest of models and you know personally I'm not really bothered whether they do or not. There's quite a lot of moulded detail up on the roof as you can see and uh, there is all over it really, you know there's just moulded detail everywhere, the grills especially are probably my favourite feature on this thing. Um, it's got glazed windows as you'd expect um, around the cab areas and also around the little windows uh, around the sides but really the whole thing is terribly well detailed and uh, don't forget of course that I've not fitted any of the separately supplied parts so uh, just imagine what this would look like uh, with them fitted um, although that's all I will do unfortunately because I'm not going to try and fit them but yeah a beautiful looking model as you can see terribly well detailed it really is and uh, it looks great on my layout, so you know, a proper layout I'm sure it would look fantastic on. So, yep, let's go and give this thing a test run then and see how she does. Okay, so there she is then, the V-Trains Class 37 onto the tracks and ready for her slow speed performance test. And I'll get onto that in just a second, but first of all, let me show you what else is going to be riding alongside her on the rails today. First of all, I've got another loco in Rail Freight Grey. This one is a Class 31 and this one is the Calder Hall Power Station train. And she's got a big rake of uh, wagons, as you can see. Well, reasonably big. Uh, they're not terribly heavy, they aren't. But still, she should look good pulling those. The trains, this one, is going to be pulling some uh, stone wagons, as you can see there. Um, there's a, it's only a small rake, but it's a very heavy one. So hopefully that should be a good uh, test of her abilities. And then finally, I've got a, another Class 31. This one's in BR Green, and it's a Triang one. Uh, really old but really beautiful uh, model that one is and she's pulling a heritage train and <laughs> that's just basically a big mixture of all sorts of different types of coaches really um, as might be seen on a heritage railway uh, where uh, you know they just mix and match coaches and that's something I like to do once in a while but all of that aside let's get this class 37 tried and tested so let's give it a little bit of juice and I'm going to try and show you their front and back headlights and uh, brake lights respectively uh, as well because they do work on this one so yeah let's give it a little bit of slow speed performance then here we go edging it forward I did cause it to jump into life a little bit there, so I'm going to turn it into the opposite direction and try and do this one a bit more gently. Because this is running a five pole motor, so it should be nice and smooth. I'm just ticking the power up, and you can just see it edging forward. So as you can see, a marvellous slow performer. Um, it really is very quiet as well, as you can hear. It's not making a lot of noise. and. Uh, let me just cut to this crude shot of me uh, filming the, uh, the lights, as you can see. I'm sorry about this shot, it's not a very good one, but you can just about see the lights there. If I change them, then uh, you see the other ones come on. Very cool. Alright, well, let me just pull it back once more, and then we'll go and couple up to those wagons and uh, see how she does. I mean, she really can pull an awful lot. Uh, you know, I've had her pull in, I think, about 20 coaches, 20 plus coaches before. Uh, it's really quite crazy what you can pull. But uh, yeah, here we go then. Let's go and couple up to those wagons and uh, see how she does. And the gear ratios in this model means that she does run very nice and slowly, uh, even when you, even, you know, if you put the controller up to the full speed. But yeah, that isn't a complaint, I don't think, because I think that just makes it more realistic in a way, doesn't it? So yeah, there she is then. Hopefully she's coupled properly, and if she's not, we'll know because it will derail. But uh, here we go then. I'm just. I can't remember if I've already changed the direction or not, so uh, yeah, let's see. Here she goes then, the V-Trains Class 37, with some freight. There we go. And let's start up the uh, Lima Class 31 as well then. Here she goes. She will be a bit quicker this one, I suppose. Alright, and last but not least then, let's get that Triang Class 31 up and running. I'll just wait for the other 31's train to get out of the way. Shouldn't be that long. <laughs> there we go. Right, so here's the Triang Class 31 then. Off she goes. 
And now it's time for a running session, so yeah, let's watch them. And keep an eye out on the line because there's lots of other diesel locos uh, dotted around the place. So yeah, see how many you can spot. There we go, nice and slow is that Class 37. I would slow the others down too, but uh, there's always the chance, I suppose, the uh, trying one might stop on a point. Yep, the trying Class 31 ought to uh, overtake in just a second. Yep, there she is. <laughs> With a very strange looking rake of coaches. But as I say, I, I like to do that sort of thing once in a while, just for a bit of fun. And here's the other Class 31. One of my very first diesels this one was. Lima 1 again, very nice looking. It's had lights in it before, but I've taken them out. Or I might have blown them, I can't remember. It doesn't work anymore though whatever the case. Yeah, that trying one makes a real rumbling noise when it runs. And that's marvellous, that is. It's gorgeous. So realistic though, isn't it, this V-Trains one? I mean, it just looks like a real thing that's been scaled down just as it came around that corner there from in the distance beautiful Oh dear, I think we've got a wagon derailed there, but not to worry. <laughs> oh god, yes, there is definitely a derailment. It seems to be uh, surviving though, so I'll just let it run. So here's my ratings then for the beautiful V-Trains Class 37. First of all, detail. I called it 9 out of 10 for that. Um, what comes on the logo isn't 9 out of 10, but I think if you added what was in the detail pack, you would have a, a superbly detailed logo, uh, even for modern standards. Performance, 10 out of 10, you absolutely can't fault it. She weighs a ton. She does run traction tyres, but you know most diesels do, so we can't really deduct any marks there. But she has really, really, really extremely good pulling power, and uh, there's really not a lot that she can't pull, so high marks there. Character 7 out of 10, I think for a diesel she's got reasonably nice character, but uh, I don't think she's quite as nice as she is uh, compared with the steamers, uh, but maybe that's a bit unfair, but yeah, who knows. Uh, build quality, 9 out of 10, it's stunningly well built, you know, I've never broken it, I've had it apart many times to service it, and uh, you know, I've never had any trouble with it, you know, breaking or falling apart, so it's really been built with very high quality materials. Value, I only paid £35 for this and it was brand new, uh, so really that's an amazing price and if you can get it anywhere near that, uh, you know, you've done really well. Uh, so overall then, 8 out of 10, fantastic model, I really did like this one and uh, if you did as well, uh, please let me know.
Well then everybody, that should just about do it for this review. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please feel free to leave a like or even a comment on the video because I'd love to hear from you. And uh, you can also share and subscribe and all that other good stuff. And also, if you'd like to, you can check out my Facebook and Twitter pages at facebook.com forward slash samstrains or twitter.com forward slash samstrains. It would be lovely to see you on there. But for now, thank you very much for watching once again and I'll see you all very soon. Cheers, everybody.